Welcome back to another episode of Life 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 Okay guys, you've been seen my video and if you not see my movie yet, please watch it first before proceeding. Thank you. <laughs> and yeah, before we jump to it, I want to tell you about this is my Patreon page and if you want to help support my uh, YouTube channel and also my yeah, my tutorial, you can help me by pledging and my patreon page bronze silver gold and uh, every penny is will help me to create another tutorial like this so hoping support from you guys okay let's go jump to nuke okay oh i'm for i'm sorry very sorry before we start uh, this is a nuke tutorial uh, unfortunately when I'm making this short movie I'm using nuke so after effects user maybe next time but I will get to you next time promise okay let's see right here okay there's a lot happening uh, don't bother with this thing because I'm using only the until 37 yeah I'm only using 37 frame in here and this is I'm not using the other frame so the idea the, f the sequence itself is only uh, one second and a half and uh, not one sec yeah about one and half one second and a half uh, more or less okay this is the footage itself as you can see with a blank spot with nothing on it and uh, adding some grade to reduce the highlight because it's too bright at 12 p.m. and let me jump to another other place please don't be scared with this note because it's very very simple I promise I promise <laughs> so basically this is for the f muzzle flash yeah you can get this in a video copilot and any other place you name it so this is the muzzle flash one and this is the muzzle flash two so what happened right here is that sorry I'm time offset what time offset mean time offset mean I'm offsetting the playing on the what you can see right here 26 you can see Right here, yeah, 26 start and boom, this is it plays at 26 and up. Next up, reformat. Yeah, this is j basically just to make sure everything goes perfectly with the frame and the format that I'm using 1080p and transform. I'm placing right here, transform, transform it to place it right on the gun so you can see the gun right here so I'm placing it right there to align it grade to adding some grade this is a minor grading nothing special and glow why I'm adding some glow because when you shoot you get a glow and when you get glow you get bright that's <laughs> happening <laughs> so I'm just adding some glow and for another final touch defocus so basically when you shoot near to your face the the smoke will be not too visible it will look blurry so it will be great adding some defocus to fake the blur and that's what I'm doing to another two uh, don't be too what is it scared I'm just uh, splitting into two t the first time and the second so this both the same but uh, on a different timeline so this is right here and this is on the other right here so same footage but on the different time like usual reformat transform grade glow 
and defocus that's all that's for the muscle flash let me take you to the right place uh, this is for the the breeze yeah three kind of the breeze like usual the first of breeze okay time offset I'm offsetting right when it hits the robot so let me see the robot right here nope, 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 not there. the robot about hit here no 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 not that oh, sorry that's here boom oh I forgot time offset nope, 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 nope. boom right there you see the robot right here and boom yeah around right here but you need to reform it and transform and transform placing right there and you can see yeah there's a robot the head is gonna blow up right there so I'm transforming it placing it on right here another grid to make it believable and I'm doing it also with the other two just another time of self reformat transform and grade okay let's go jump to the robot itself maybe you all mm, confuse how to get this robot how to get animation well I'm doing this tutorial before with the after effects stuff you can check it right there I'm using Mixamo and also adding some the motion from the skeleton from Mixamo also you can check that out I'm back to here okay so uh, what I'm doing with this is I'm taking the 3d to cinema 4d right here yeah so basically this is uh, very simple this is uh, only a camera with one light two light three light four light and five lights why it's so bright because I want to simulate the Sun on 12 p.m. that's gonna bright from top and have a hard shadow and I'm adding some floor to add the to, to catch some the shadow uh, the cinema 4d r18 I think have has have a shadow catcher uh, at that time I don't know so I'm using uh, old school stuff but you can check out how to use a shadow catcher in cinema 4d and uh, to get the camera movement I'm using a 3d camera tracker uh, from cinema 4d but sometimes it mess around not too good to be used so I'm gonna explain it later what I'm using it another sky yeah I'm adding another sky background to m simulate the environment that the light will s uh, the HDR to the object itself would illuminate the fields that the robot it tried it stand stand still right there okay let me explain why I'm not using this 3d camera tracker because uh, sometimes the cinema for the 3d camera tracker is not capable to track this hard movement like this is too hard too many movement so I'm using mocha let's go back go to mocha and here we are yeah a little bit complicated also but bear with me uh, first thing first uh, I'll explain I'm tracking the wall I'm tracking also the floor so when you got to plane and you got track you can uh, extract the camera movement from this footage and use it to cinema 4d and any other place like after effects okay that's the simple one uh, the other one I am adding is you, you can see roto yes I'm adding the roto to the hand one by one by one not by one one frame per frame okay so that's it boom it ve it's, it's very very frustrating at that time because I'm doing it you can see there's so a lot of green that's because I animated one by one by one 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 edit 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 and I go nuts <laughs> okay so after I got this uh, roto from mocha exported to cinema for uh, not cinema 4d nuke sorry guys so I'm exporting to nuke why I'm adding this to nuke because you need to place 
the muzzle flash right after this hand to make it real you don't want the flash will be up on this gun you want under this gun so you have to rotate it like that so adding uh, the first uh, the first and the second muzzle flash and the third muzzle flash okay that's for the front part okay this is the front part and this is the back part that's the easy one that i can say so for the back part you got this robot that i'm exported from cinema 4d i render it as, as an open axr that's the recommendation from my friend in canada uh, he said to export it as an open axr like the standard industry do adding some motion blur to fake the effect uh, basically this shuffle is only taking the alpha channel to mask it right here so because open x are not like png you must extract the alpha as a mask and here you are pre multiplied is very useful to get rid this jagged edge and merge and why i'm adding this constant because to blend with the where is it the footage sometimes i'm adding some yeah white solid in after effect this time but in f uh, nuke is using constant so adding constant multiply it and adjust the intensity and boom there you are a little bit not to contrast but yeah most likely gonna mimic this place so back here merge it with the, the robot and the footage itself like this merge with the what is it the breeze first the breeze second the breeze and third the breeze and you wonder what kind what is this this is the shadow for the leg yeah i'm also rendered in that x like like i said before there's a shadow catcher that you can use but i'm not using it this is the old stuff so you have to multiply it right here to extract only the black part of the shadow and merge it right here and yeah merge it with the foreground and you get this very simple very 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 simple <laughs> another simple touch to make it believable yeah you can see this is uh i'm making like the kingsman film that you can see there's uh, when he pull the trigger and there's a, f a muzzle flash right here i'm adding in after effect this is like a solid an orange solid and multiply it adjusting the what is the intensity and you get right here and yeah you can adjust it right here the merge final touch write it that's all write it as whatever you want in my case i'm exported as jpeg sequence because i'm gonna add it to premiere pro to compile it with the other one so that's it guys how i make this sequence you can see right here let me play it for you maybe it's gonna be uh, a little bit hard to play back because uh, there's a lot going on here and boom boom is gonna need to render and yeah Nah, 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 nah. I'm just gonna play it. Just simple. Oops, sorry. Just yeah, simple. Yeah, it works perfectly. Perfectly fine. Okay, guys, thank you for watching this tutorial how to add the CGI to your film using Nuke. And don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video. Also, share it with your other filmmaker that need cgi in your in their film or you want to learn your friend want to learn about cgi this is the right place that i can teach you don't forget to support me on my patreon like i said the first time it's helped me to make another content like this okay guys i will see you next time and don't forget to yeah 
tell me what kind of tutorial you want to see next. Okay, guys, see you next time. Ciao.